My name is Jim Katechi. I will be your host today. And these two fine gentlemen alongside me on the couch is um, Brian Lemos. He is one of our content producers. And of course, Mr. Jeff Foster. And we're just going to spend a few minutes talking about a very, very exciting course that Jeff is going to be the instructor for. It's one that I basically begged everybody to be able to host. Um, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it down to San Francisco, <laughs> but um, it's, it's all about drone photography. So, um, Jeff, welcome back to Creative Live. It's always, always wonderful to have you here. Um, of course, you've taught so many of our top After Effects courses. So having your expertise in our classroom, I mean, you are our After Effects go-to guy here Great. at Creative Live. Um, but we want to talk a little bit about drone photography and your sure. upcoming workshop. So can you tell me how you got interested in drone photography? Well, um, I don't drone is a dirty word. Um, it is. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, because everyone thinks, you know, we're going to do airstrikes or sneak in people's bedrooms or spy on people. <laughs> and it's like, couldn't be farther from the truth. If you've seen any actual drone or aerial uh, UAV, we call them uh, uh, photography or video, you'll notice that most of them are like pretty far up and you can't really see, you know, any detail. It's more, you know, landscapes or whatever. But, but, uh, I got into it because I have been kind of a GoPro guy for years, and I was approached by uh, DJI to, uh, inter to review one of their, their Phantoms when it first came out. And that's how I really got into it. I've always wanted to, you know, I tried to figure out how to put one on a kite, how to put one on a balloon, <laughs> and they were always spinning around or crashing or flying. And so this was my first time to get a GoPro in the air. And this was a couple years ago. So. It just took off since then. I did that first review for uh, Pro Video Coalition, who I write for, and we've had well over a, a million hits on all of the, the, the various uh, reviews and topics there. But I've always wanted to get that camera somewhere that I couldn't reach with a boom or uh, with a tripod. So, right, yeah. right. Awesome. Well, on that said, um, I'm going to have uh, William in the back. Would you mind putting up that uh, promo video so we can get a little taste of what Jeff is going to be tackling during the workshop? Thanks so much. Okay. How awesome I, is that? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Jeff, I, I, have, I have one word when I when I watch that promo video, and that's epic. <laughs> it it, feel, it has an epic feel to it yeah. with, the, with the photography that you're doing with the go with the with the GoPro and and with the drone. Um, can you talk a little bit to the popularity? Because I know four or five years ago we were we you know. It was one in a million, now right. we're seeing them everywhere. Now there's millions in one. Yeah. Um, it, it's really taken off. The, the industry is exploding. People are extremely interested in it. Everybody wants to get into it. Um, and, and that raises some issues that I'd like to address at our, at our workshop as well. And I've talked to Brian about this as well, is that uh, everybody wants to get into it, but they're not sure where to start. And that's what we hope to address. Uh, I highly suggest you start small and slow because it's not a matter of if you'll crash, it's when you crash. And so <laughs> if you're going to crash a, an $800 quadcopter, um, it's going to do minimal damage and you'll be out minimal amount of money if it goes into the ocean or whatever. Um, but you know, some people are going, I, I, this looks so easy, I'm going to go out and spend 10 grand on a huge hex or octocopter and slap a DSLR on it and I'm going to be a filmmaker. Um, that's fine, but you've got to get some flight time down and really mm -hmm. understand how all of that works. So it's really important to, to address the basics, really learn how to fly, learn how to navigate, learn what type of camera angles you can get with these things. And as a photographer or a videographer, it's, it's, it's important to get those basics down first. And I think that's really, that's what we're trying to address in the course. It's really important um, that you understand these images that when Jeff sent me this footage and we had Mike Folden who was on, I think earlier this week, put yes, it together, yes, yeah, yeah. I was like, holy smokes. And that stuff is possible. It, t it takes, like anything, like any craft, 
it takes time yeah. and you gotta put in the work, you gotta practice and that's what we're gonna teach. Yeah. And um, uh, we wanna make sure we also teach everyone how to be really responsible and safe with these drones mm -hmm. because- it's very important. People start going cowboy and it ruins it for the drone community. Yeah, and so we're really nailing does. on that. Yeah, we had an instructor at Creative Live last week, I won't name any names, who, who, who got a drone sent to him and he practiced in the park for like a, a day and he had it down and he then went out to the, to the beach and he started it up and it, <laughs> gone, it just took off and it took him about, uh, about three or four hours uh, walking through the community to, to find it. So I'm glad that you guys are gonna be tackling that. Right. Brian, let's talk about the workshop itself. Um, how many days, and tell me a little bit about the logistics that you can at least talk about right now. Awesome, okay. Um, July 21st and 22nd, it's two days. Okay. Uh, so the first day we're gonna be on location in an undisclosed, undisclosed beautiful location. Um, we're gonna be taking, starting with the very beginner, with the very basics, and we're gonna work with some drones that are good for folks who are mm -hmm. um, just starting out. And then we're gonna kind of build our way through the day. I'm um, going all the way to drones, octocopters that can mm -hmm. take on DSLRs, uh, you know, your Canons or your Nikon, and you can take those up into the air. So, so you, you guys are gonna have a fleet of, of, yes. of, of different sizes and they're all. Oh. And we're gonna have some Absolutely. special guests come and fly with us and do some demos. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna have uh, some, some really interesting uh, approaches to using these things too. And not just a matter of showing you how to, to you know, fly them, but, it, but uh, to show different applications, to show where the future of this is going, some new prototype stuff that's coming out. So we're, we're really wanting to push this forward and, and get people excited and thinking about how can I use these things. And that's cool, I can go out and spin around my neighborhood, but what that, you know, how am I gonna use this? How can I think about using this you know, either as a business or hobby or whatever, and, and what kind of shots can I get? And I, I'd like to make sure that we cover all of those. Okay, fantastic. Um, how, is it gonna be part classroom, part in the field? Exactly, first day's in the field, second okay. day is in the classroom. Okay. Um, and in the classroom, we're gonna talk a bit about post-production, mm -hmm. also about okay. the, the stuff that you don't necessarily think about with the drones, which is like the law, you know, there's a lot of new laws coming out Correct. as it gets more popular. Correct. Um, and things like that to make sure uh, everyone gets a full, well-rounded education on these mm -hmm. things. Um, Brian, uh, you mentioned, I just want to let the audience know out here that there are going to be beautiful locations um, <laughs> that we can't talk about yet, but I just want to let you guys know, we are in San Francisco, um, which is my hometown, and so you can just imagine, you know, that there's beaches, there's mountains, there's all sorts of just gorgeous area. We Jeff, may be in an industrial park, or in, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still beautiful yeah, when you're flying, exactly, right? right? Yeah, exactly, right? And Jeff, I've seen so much of your, of your footage, um, that, especially the stuff that you post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Do you personally have a favorite location uh, that you've shot at in the last year or so that oh, you were I'd like? I'd have to say um, it's wherever you are. Okay. I, I, it, it, because it becomes a totally different experience. Um, no matter where you are. I mean, I, I've, some of my most recent stuff was just, we've got a, a horse in training up in Chico. Yeah. And it's like, there's really nothing in Chico. It's like high desert, yeah, but it's still, it's beautiful from the air. And when you're moving and you're buzzing oak trees and, and uh, you know, deserty <laughs> <laughs> landscape, it's still beautiful because yeah. you can move, you can, you can experience, you get to see from a different perspective, and that's what it's about. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, lots of bars in Chico. I know I went to college there, so. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I wanna let you guys out there on the internet know, um, this course, as uh, you know, Brian mentioned the dates, so we are going to be down in uh, San Francisco, and we are, we are currently looking for students, correct? Is Absolutely. It, the door is open, right? Absolutely. So you guys, the door is open. If you've never been a student here at Creative Live, um, the best thing to do is go to creativelive.com slash front row. Um, I know that Ardvark Bill is one of our regulars. Yeah. He's down. I, I'm hoping that he may want to be interested in, in coming to the course. But if you guys are either down in the Bay Area or you want to fly in, I mean, there's lots of really good yeah. logistics and lodging right in that area. So if you want to do that, if you want to be part of this experience, you can go to, as I mentioned, creativelive.com slash front row to get more information. Absolutely. So Jeff, I would like to know from you, um, who is drone photography for? What, what photographer out there? I'm thinking boudoir, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me address that real quick because it, when you're out flying, you get asked a lot of questions yeah. while you're flying. And people go, you know, is there a camera on that? You know, are you using that to spy on people? 
you know, I'm afraid those things are going to look in my bedroom window, things like that. It's like if anybody knows anything about a GoPro, the only way you can actually see in somebody's bedroom is to be in their bedroom. So unless you're flying inside somebody's bedroom, they're not going to see anything. So um, that's one thing I'd like to dispel some of those myths about, you know, spying necessarily. But um, the, the industry is, is just picking up as a hobby, and people who have just very little photo experience are, are just loving these things because they get to see from a point of view. You get to be a bird, basically. Right. It's like, every, you know, if you haven't uh, thought about that as a child, oh, God, I wonder what it would look like to fly through this or whatever. I mean, you can do that now. So anybody that's a hobbyist up to a professional wants to get, you know, really killer, you know, extended jib shots as a, as a professional filmmaker. I mean, everybody in between. It really appeals to everybody. I got my wife out flying them now, oh, too. Oh, so cool. And, yeah, yeah she's excited. So it's, uh, it's, it's really, it really has opened up for everybody. And they're getting easier to, to use and, and uh, better image quality, too. Great. Awesome.